I'm going to show you how to use a screen recording tool called Loom. So the first thing you'll have to do is install the extension and then just make sure you set up your account. If you're using your school account, you get all of the educator benefits for free. So make sure you use your school account to sign up for your Loom account. Once you have the extension installed, it'll be this little purple icon right up here. So when I click on that, it's going to ask, what do you want to record? I'm going to choose my screen and camera. So, and excuse how I look today, it is Christmas dress up day. So, um, so my choices are screen and camera, screen only, which will just be my actual desktop. My camera only, it's a great tool to record quick messages to students or other people, just records yourself. I'm going to use both just to show you what everything looks like. Make sure your microphone is set up to what you want to use. Make sure your camera's on the right one. And all you have to do is click start recording. Now, before you do that, you can move the picture of yourself, the video, if you're recording yourself anywhere you want. You can also resize it if you wanted to make it bigger or smaller. You can also click this little X right here and delete it if you want. But I'm going to leave mine running. I'm going to throw myself right down here at the bottom. I'm going to click the start recording button. It'll give me my options. I have two monitors going, so I have two to choose from. I'm just going to choose this whole desktop. You could also do a window of an application or a Chrome tab. I'm going to do the entire desktop, which is usually what I do. I'm going to click the share button. It's going to give me my countdown. And I'm officially recording. So all I need to do now is go about telling my students or staff what it is I want them to see, what I want to do. The real nice thing about this picture of yourself is you can kind of move it around and maybe you want to show them, you know, about how these Google Classroom directions for parents are. And if I can just point. So all you have to do is click right here. So you've got your little talk bubble over here somewhere. And I can go to different tabs. I can open up just about anything. Maybe it's a meet I want to show or whatever tool it is you're trying to explain. And then your little bubble will pop up. Sometimes it takes a second to populate, but you do your, your screencast as you want. And when you're all done, you just go back up to that little icon and you can stop it or click the little check box right down here. So if I click check, it will finish the video. It'll open a new tab into my Loom account. The name of your Loom video by default will be the website you are on. So I'll want to definitely change that. So I'm just going to go over here my Loom demo, and this is where it gets super easy. All I have to do is click copy link, and I now have a link to that copied. So if I were to go into a student tab, so this is like a student would see, and I just send that link to them, whether it's through Google Classroom or an email, this is what they would see, a playable high resolution screencast. Super easy, really nice. Another added benefit for people who want to take this a little step beyond, this call to action is really cool. So let's say I was telling these students, you really have to go to this website. I want to show you how it works and I want to send them to my blog. If I do this call to action at the very end, it puts a button anywhere that I want to put it into the screen. So the button text, I'm going to say Badner Bytes. I'm going to put the link to that button, which is just badnerbytes.com. I can change the color if I want. I can make it rounded square. I'm going to make it a nice rounded button, and I'm going to hit save. Now, what's really cool is when they're done watching that video at the very end, that little button comes up, and when I click it, it jumps right to the website so they can watch that video, and then it takes them directly to the website I wanted them to go to. Super easy, super awesome. So after you've recorded your videos, if you head back to your Loom account, that video would be in there. If you go over here to the left-hand side where it says Personal, if I click on that, that's all the videos that I have made. You can create folders right in your personal Loom library here to organize things. So keep in mind that all of your Loom videos are stored on the Loom website. They're not in your drive. They're not in your device. But Loom will give you unlimited space, so you can store all of your videos right here. You can put them right into folders to help you organize. You can make shared folders. There's a lot more you can do with it. But definitely organize your videos so you can easily find them and use them later.